Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of November 19th through the 25th of 2020. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And these readings can be interchangeable. So you could be watching for this could be a message for the cross watcher or if not for Virgo. Yeah. Um, and also these readings are fairly um timeless so you know whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates then that's you know that's the message for you at that time um just want to just want to let you guys know there is a storm rolling through uh it's raining right now there's a bit of thunder and all that so hopefully that's not too distracting for you guys yes all right virgo let's get into this here and see what we've got for your week hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the week of November 19th through the 25th of 2020. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, let's get into this here. We're going to do this five shuffles and let's see what we've got for your week. Yeah, one. Oh, wait, hold on. It helps if I take the whole deck with me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> one. Two. Three. Four. And five from a Virgo's. Ah. All right, Virgo. So what do we have going on for this week for you? What messages do we have for Virgo this week? Okay. Strategy and the magician and the mirror. All right. Um, the first thing that I'm getting so far, Virgo, is that spirit is asking you to re-strategize, reorganize yourself, re look at the way that you approach your life, whatever it is you're trying to manifest, whether it's a new job, uh, more money or like love or something. Spirit is asking you to really put yourself in the driver's seat and really think about how you have been going about manifesting things lately um like take take note of your thoughts your actions the words that you speak of yourself um uh, the words that you speak of others also um your feelings you know what are you what are you aligning with it's like spirit is really asking you i'm hearing to to take over the driver's seat here okay i understand yeah a lot of virgos have been going through a lot of really tough stuff lately and i kind of feel like lately you guys have been kind of putting Putting yourself in the back seat is kind of what I'm picking up on. Not even like, not even co-pilot, but straight up just like back seat, like not even trying to focus, not even trying to think about it, not even trying to worry about it. Just be like, you know what, universe here, take the keys, you drive. I'm just gonna sit here and zone out and tune out for a while. And that's okay, that was, that's was that been okay. You needed it. A lot of you have really needed that for some time, but now it's time for you to get back into the driver's seat, okay? Let's look at what's crowning you this week. Yeah, five shuffles. One. For my Virgos here. Two. Three. Four. Whoa. Let's try that again. Four. And five. All right, Virgo, so what's crowning you this week? What's on your mind this week? Uh -huh. All right, Virgo, this is good. This is good. You have power and you have pleasure. <clears throat> And you know the, the what I'm getting with that is like it's it first of all it's 
you are allowed to be in control of your life, to, to take control of your power and to have pleasure. That is a pretty specific message for somebody out there. I feel like some of you or whomever, maybe maybe this is for the people that this is really resonating for that are really needed to get back into the driver's seat, but maybe you feel um, afraid to use your power for your own sense of pleasure. Why, why? Oh, honey, no. You're powerful for a reason. I mean, we're all powerful for a reason. There's no reason for you to Deny, there's no reason for you to deny yourself of pleasure just because you're using your own sense of personal power to get it. You have every right to do so, okay? Allow yourself to take your power back and allow yourself to feel good about that. Allow yourself to find pleasure in that. There's nothing wrong with that at all, all right? Let's look at what is grounding you or your driving force this week, yeah? Five, four shuffles, one. Two, especially when it comes to love, you guys, this is three. Um, spirit is really asking you to re-strategize, and this is four. Uh, because you, we are the master manifestors of our, own, of our own reality, right? So if you want love, if you really want true love, if you really want that, then you are going to have to take that power. Take that power back and, and, and manifest it for yourself. Do it for yourself, okay? Yes, we co-create with the universe, but there are still some elements to it that we are responsible as individuals, we are responsible for, okay? And I'm hearing a big part of that is showing up, owning your power, showing up for yourself. If this is really what you want, if you really want love, if you really want a balanced, harmonious relationship, then you have to do what it is you need to do for yourself to get in alignment with that, right? It's time to take your power back, Virgo. What is your driving force this week? Liberation, learning, and ascension. Yeah, there, there really is an energy of um, the universe kind of saying to you, okay, it's time, to, it's time to dry your eyes. It's time to wipe the tears from your eyes. It's time to start paying attention. It's time to start focusing again. We know that you've been hurt. Virgo, but quite frankly, it's time, if this is really, again, if this is really what you want, Virgo, then you are going to have to take, you're going to have to take your power back. You're going to have to own it. Yeah. Let's get a little pre-shuffle here for you in terms, yeah, look at that. Ten of Wands to the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Okay. And I do feel like, okay, so you're already in the process of walking away from something. That's fine. But you're, carry, you're still carrying the burdens of this situationship or this relationship from the past. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Wheel of Fortune to the Page of Cups. Um, I, I, th some of you are, yes, you're walking away from a past relationship, a past circumstance. But again, you're still carrying the burdens of that situation. Um, and that's only perpetuating the cycle over and over again, whether it's uh, whether it's with other people or it's just on an energetic level. OK, um, and if it's just on an energetic level, I feel like you guys are just continuing the, the pain for yourselves over and over again by reliving it. Queen of Cups has come out now. You have to understand your feelings. You have to understand your emotions. You have to. Ooh, there's and there's the Queen of Wands. In order for you to get back into this Queen of Wands energy, this Queen of Wands state, this, this powerful law of attraction type energy of just drawing what it is you want towards you, drawing the opportunities that you desire towards yourself, you have to understand your emotions first. You have to get your emotions under control. You have to understand what it is you're feeling. You have to understand what it is you're still carrying around, okay? Queen of Cups is also talking about emotional boundaries as well for some of you. Yeah. Anything else for my Virgos here in this pre-shuffle before we get started with the rest of the reading? No, I think that's it. Look, you have the lovers at the bottom of the deck now with the Ace of Cups. You have to choose to love yourself, Virgo. You have to, if you want love, you have to allow love in. And the first way of doing that is picking up pulling up, owning up, showing up for yourself. 
loving yourself, allowing that unconditional love of the universe to come in for you and to fill that cup. But to do that, the first step is getting back into the driver's seat and saying, okay, I'm owning this now. All right, all right, I'm driving now. Five of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles. But you're, you're, there's inner conflict here. And what I'm feeling with the Ace of Pentacles for you guys is that your, your inner conflict is like, I don't want to start all over and go through that long, arduous process of getting to know someone or getting into a re relationship with someone only to end up hurt again. I understand that. I, I mean, I understand that. So if that's the case, then, then, okay, don't work on manifesting a relationship, but you still have to show up for yourself, Virgo. Okay, you still have to let love in is what I'm hearing. So focus on something else. Focus on your career. Focus on the creative endeavor, you know, but, but sitting in the back seat all mopey like this for the rest of eternity, though, that's just not going to work, right? Okay, I'm going to go deeper into this now using the tarot. We're going to look at either some potential timelines to, to, be, to be aware of or just go deeper into your storyline. But that is going to happen over on Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Link is in the description box below. But before I close out or before we end this first half of your reading here, I want to get some closing oracle guidance from the Indigo Angel Oracle deck for you. Yeah, Virgo? Three shuffles. One. Two, and a three skis. All right, Virgo, closing out this first half of your reading for you here. <laughs> you have trust, stay in reverse, and time to create. Now, uh, I don't intend to have things in reverse here, but I think it's quite poignant that stay is in reverse because that is to me is saying, do not stay where you currently are. Do not stay in that back seat. It's time to get into the driver's seat. Virgo, it's time to create. All right. We're gonna go deeper into this here. So I will see you guys over on Patreon. If not, I love you all so very much. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>